I like to think of this production almost like a dance choreography, but with Jacob and our crew of people moving all the set. We weren't filming the entire 360 degrees at one time. Instead, what we were doing is we were going to be filming parts and making sure that they stitched together and appeared to be seamless. So there was a lot of technical work involved. I just wanted to say I feel like the luckiest kid in the world to be able to do this today. Mm -hmm. Thank you every single person for being here because this is such a treat. I can't Thank wait. Thank Thanks, you. Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. All right, team, let's get to it. We want to we want to be finished with the first shot in 35 minutes. So let's get a move on. Thank you. Thank you. Something that was really, really important to me was that we kept everything practical. I think virtual reality and 360 video often is synonymous with a lot of visual effects and special effects, and it is a very technical post-production process. But I just think there's something magical about the way things feel when you shoot it in camera. And I think for a song like this that is very authentic and, and feels warm, Going digital was the wrong approach. For me, because it was like a memory from a kid's book and had that kind of feeling of like Goodnight Moon or Harold and the Purple Crayon, I worked with Jacob and we decided like, look, we're gonna shoot everything practically. We're gonna make these sets. We're gonna have real live people dressed in blacks, moving them in kind of this like dance choreography to transition us between scenes. And I think that the feeling that that gives us in the finished product is, is just stupendous. I think it's really, really kind of cool. Hugh Flats! Faster! Alright, Jacob, get out and out. And go up the mountain. Alright, cut! Working with Jacob was seriously one of the highlights of my career so far. He's so creative, he brings such energy, and yet he's so humble about everything. He listens and he collaborates on the creative one, vision. Go. <laughs> I really think that this project was such a success in my mind because we were able to bring to life this kind of magical realism in a way that I haven't really seen done before, and uh, his support in doing that was instrumental to making it happen.